Oh no, I do not have it on the uh, proper screen here. <gasps> and oh, I... you look really, really choppy too. What is? Oh, happening? I do. Yeah. What is happening? Oh no. Oh no. Here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I must have had it uh, minimized there. My apology. Am I still? Ch oh, okay, no, I see you're, better. You're, you're doing all right there. Okay, okay. We, yeah, we were looking at uh, uh, something here. So welcome, welcome to uh, Doug finishes Jedi Survivor, and we're pretty sure it's gonna be uh, finished tonight because Heather was saying like, yeah, there's yeah. like an hour left, something like that. So uh, I think what we're gonna do, when slash if, probably when uh, I finish it. Uh, we're probably just gonna do pizza party again, cause uh, the game was really fun. We couldn't find anything else just that I had lying around the computer, and uh, that's a pretty fun game, so we'll probably uh, do that. But we, of course, finish this up first. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and go over the rules of the stream. Uh, first of all, respect the mods. They're all working their asses off. Make sure everybody has a good time, so be respectful to them. Uh, no backseating. I've already come so far with only an hour left now, uh, without backseating, so I think it's clear I don't need it right now. <laughs> no, actually, it's been a couple times you'll have helped me out, so thank you so much for that, but, uh, we will make it clear when we need help. We will look right at the camera, and we will say, chat, help, what do we do? We'll make it very, very clear, uh, so until that point, if that point even comes, no backseating. Um, what else, what else? Uh, we do get priority to bit messages, because that's some real-world money being spent uh with that in mind do keep in mind we do get behind on bit messages anywhere from like you know uh 20 minutes to an hour so you know we will get to it it's very rare that we miss a bit message so uh you know be patient about that please don't spam repeat your question over and over and over again chats go to get timed out or even banned and nobody wants that uh so also keep in mind that uh if you got like a request or, uh, you know, like a movie you want me to review or something like that. It's a little bit more of a Wednesday stream thing, Wednesday Q&A. We will answer it, but, you know, you might not get, like, the most detailed answer because we're focusing on the game here. So, uh, you know, do keep that in mind. Uh, no spoilers for this or what I'm sure is going to be the biggest blockbuster of the year, Indiana Jones 5. I'm sure just people are rushing out to... Heather, I'm sure you've seen it, right? I mean, come on. Right, that's totally a the, thing. The that's minute happening. it came out, yes, yes, I just, I just have a strong, strong feeling that movie's gonna bomb. <laughs> like, not, not even just based on like how the film is or anything. Just like, do you know anyone's excited to see that movie? I could be totally wrong. Anyway, uh, I did just post a review. You should watch it right after this. But regardless, um, <laughs> let's see what else. What else? Uh, oh, be sure to keep your bit messages uh, short and to the point. Sometimes people put in uh, some novellas in there. We can just lose track of you know, what the uh, message was or the focus of the message and stuff like that. So definitely keep it short to the point. That also includes, uh, you know, di uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, several parted messages, if you will. Yeah, you uh, just, uh, you know, if you have like a part one or a part two, keep it to three at the most. Because <laughs> uh, again, we can just get lost in what, uh, you know, the question or the comment was. So be respectful to that. Uh, no cats allowed except my cat. So, um, I don't know. I was just forgot he was here and i'm sure people would be like chaplain so there he is um i think we got everything right is that everything yeah i think so I think right? we got it i think we got it i am drinking uh i think it's called mccormick's uh i actually got it from ireland it was very very good uh highly recommended mm. what are you drinking nice. a pseudo sue what's a pseudo sue again Pseudo Sioux is a pale ale that is brewed in association with the Field Museum mm. and uh, Toppling Goliath uh, Brewing Company. And, is that uh, the one that has uh, the T-Rex? Yeah, it has Sioux. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. It's funny. Every time my sister-in-law comes in to visit, she's always like, let's get that T-Rex one, that T-Rex. I'm always like, what the hell are you talking about? And whenever I see the label, I'm like, oh, that one. Yeah, okay. And I always forget the name of it. So I know it sounds familiar. I like yeah, yeah. it. I like it a lot. Yeah, pseudo Sue is good. Hmm. A little hop. Yeah, there. Okay. All right. So, in the final bit. Oh, I'm right exactly where I need to be. I guess I need to get back to the map. You are. You really, you really set yourself up here. Yeah. I, I, I love your cape. It, it, it is pretty capey. Pretty. It is. Pretty, pretty capey. Uh, <laughs> cape fantastic. With that said, I totally forget my. Do I talk to him first, or I go to the hollow table first? 
Or do I talk to Mariver? I, mean, I cannot you remember. You can talk to whomever you want, yeah, but you're you know. supposed to go to the hollow table to travel. But if you want to gotcha. have conversations you know, with let's, people, see, see, let's check in with Marin. Are you, How you ready doing? To go? Yeah, we like her. When we confront Bode, just remember, he has what he wants. He will fight to the death to keep it. Boop indeed. Yeah, man, Bode. Can't believe Bode. My best friend, <laughs> Heather. Bode. <laughs> <laughs> wow no you never saw that coming i wonder how many other people were just like G -g -g yeah i wonder what's gonna happen here <laughs> vader was pretty damn cool though that uh oh my gosh that, that was amazing and like i said just when she starts standing there and waiting i'm like Okay, it's gotta be someone be I, I was like okay this is either boat or it's gonna be vader man it'd be cool if it's vader and that was just and like I said, fighting him as her just felt, like, so satisfying. It just felt so good. Yep. Right, right. And I loved, too, the phases that you that they put you through and, like, how they did make her feel kind of overpowered so uh, that you didn't feel too terribly bad about, like, fighting Vader. But you also felt... You know, man, wasn't that clever to have you play as her going through all those obstacles and everything and you kind of feel like she's you know like a, just a little bit more powerful you know like she's yeah you know like she can't do as much but you just feel like she's a little stronger so that when you do get to vader it's like yeah that just really gives you all the more that feeling of like man you were just up against like a, a fucking monster to the abyss now. yeah fire up the erase i'll be monitoring your progress from here may the force be with you all Almost sound like she said, y'all. Oh, there's that thing, okay. <laughs> Another sky china. Uh, what do you think is taking Z so long? Dagengera was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Hey, great <laughs> Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, it is pretty cool, actually. Watch your language, let the bleep that. <laughs> Replacing his swears is literally just putting the swear word in there instead of the bleep. <laughs> oh, that's right. The only droid who honestly needs that is Chopper. Mm. <laughs> oh, that, oh man, that's very uh, Guardians, isn't it? It reminds me of the game a lot. It's beautiful. I'll bet that's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into Vortex Chow. Great. Now it's an obstacle course. I love the way that one, just the one wing it has, moves. That's always really cool. Coming too fast. But you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you crazy? Stop looking. Start, start seeing. For speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Never tell me the odds. <laughs> all right, that's. I hate how much I love that line. <laughs> I love Greasy. Greasy does it, baby. That's great. They did that to turn that into a t-shirt. Hey, wait a minute. Is it me, or is this tunnel getting a tad cozy? It's not just you. Z, what's going on? The overloading. There's nothing I can do. This is no cave. I need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I <laughs> Must can. go faster. Crazy. If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man. It's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? <laughs> I was having this Aladdin moment. No, 
Oh, I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, it's a nice... Oh, man, what a nice touch. Could you think, like, back to Luke and Ben and stuff in the Death Star? That, what a nice touch. <laughs> you did it, you three-armed son of a gun dart. <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. <sighs> wow. I hope it's worth it. Wait, is that also where, like, was it Zeb Zeb from uh, Rebels, where his family is? Tantalor? No, uh, the, the purple dude from uh, Rebels. Yeah, no, you mean this planet, Tantalor? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I don't believe so. No. Okay, okay, because I thought Tantalor I remember. Is, as far as I know, Tantalor is new for this game. Okay, because I thought there was, like, an episode of Rebels where they uh, take his family somewhere. It's like a hidden place. I thought it was, like, a very... I remember it being a very purpley looking place, but then again, they're purple. Maybe I'm <laughs> getting the Kelly's cross there. Uh, I'll go save real fast. I said, why don't I go save for I said, why don't I go save for There we go. Author, thank you for the hundred bits. Hey, Doug and Heather, how y'all doing? Are you feeling any better, Doug? Yeah, uh, you know, I I get a thing at least once a year, sometimes twice a year, where I just, it sounds weird, because it sounds lazy, but I get crazy fatigue, I get crazy tired, because I've been tired before, I never worked on stuff, but like, I just cannot keep my eyes open, and I'm wondering if it's like an allergy thing, or an asthma thing, we just had smoke blow through uh, Chicago, you know, from the uh, Canadian fires and stuff like that. Maybe that messed up my asthma. I don't know, but it always just lasts a day, and you know, then I'm I'm fine. I play of energy the rest of the day, and I don't feel bad, you know, any other way. But uh, yeah, it always takes me out of commission, and I hate it because then I have to just redo my schedule and everything. But uh, yes, I, I feel totally fine today. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you for asking. Connor Davenport, thank you for the 100 bits. Considering how the DCU will bring in a brand new Bruce Wayne for the Brave and the Bold, who would you like to see as the next Batman? How would you feel about my first choice, Luke Evans, for the role? Which one's the... I'm trying to remember who Luke Evans is. Um, mm, boop, I, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's. I know that name, but I can't Wait, think of... Uh, I'm thinking the same thing. I'm looking it up. Yeah, wait, look it up. Let me talk to Grease here. Luke Evans, oh, actor... You and Mary be careful out there. Oh, okay? yeah, I know his face. Yeah, yeah, you too, uh, be Fast and the Furious okay, 6. I'm gonna hold you Gaston. I don't ah, okay, from the new Beauty and the Beast. Beast. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll be back soon. I, I, I don't know if I'd say Batman, but I have seen him play parts where I kind of go back and I was like, oh, is that him? Holy shit, I didn't know that. Uh, I think the big thing is the... Uh, I mean, he's a great actor, but... Uh, I think for Batman, you need some real expressive eyes, and I, I don't remember his eyes being that expressive, but I could be wrong. Sometimes you get a bat mask on somebody, and it's like, holy shit, yeah, that, that guy, that guy's great. Um, yeah, I don't know who I'd have be Batman, honestly, you know. Is, is there anybody you think of, Heather, that you'd just be like, oh, man, yeah, that's, that's I him if I had, like, know. fan casting. Yeah, I don't know either. Like, I, I don't know. It's kind of like Superman. Like, I like being surprised. By it. I, I like hearing the news and being like, huh, really? I wonder how that'll turn out. And then when you see how it turns out, you know, just sort of having your reaction then. Um, right, right. Or even, like we said before, uh, casting people who are unknowns, who just fit the role. I want a Batman that has a, just a fucking good voice, you know what I mean? You know, it has yeah. something like a Kevin Conroy uh, voice. Uh, you know, I'm sick of them always all. You know, I like with... Affleck, I like that they altered the voice. I thought that was clever. But man, wouldn't it be nice if you don't, you don't have to do a raspy voice. You can do like just a clear, booming voice. Just someone that already has that voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, just seeing if that was one of those things you can chop up. Yeah. 
So this is Tenelor. I was doing the same thing. I thought I could chop up all those things. Yeah, like, it's just one of those things. It's like, oh, is this, like, all the hearts before you fight Dracula? You know, they're just going to give you a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I guess not. The temple's this way. Dragon and Centauri Creek. Well, Ram, thank you for the 50 bits. I should explain that Hanoi Jane is a mean-spirited nickname for Jane Fonda. This was due to her activism during Vietnam that a lot of people thought was un-American. In fact, there was a nasty rumor spread about her that a prisoner soldier tried to hand her a note and she handed it to the captors instead, uh, getting the prisoner executed. But again, just a rumor. Uh, no, actually, I did look that up afterwards because i was kind of curious what that was i didn't hear that part but but i did see the uh you know like the picture and stuff that sort of caused uh all that and uh yeah that was interesting oh wow that's pretty that's so cool it's like i mean do we have to stop the guy well, let's just just take him in you know let's just, let's just, just look enjoy at this. It's, it's, yeah <laughs> you know little, 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 little birds fire it's a pretty place a pretty but right right you look really be okay let's go <laughs> Oi, Ram, thank you for that four month subscription. Welcome back, appreciate it. Good to have you. Oi, Ram, thank you for the 50 bits. Has anyone else noticed that certain words are not allowed to be said in the chat? And I'm not talking about swear words. Yeah, I've got auto mod set pretty high um, in the chat, and that's just because I would much rather have auto. Um, the auto mod check words um, that we can just manually allow rather than having to worry about um, some kind of like racist or homophobic and whatever terms coming through. Um, so the auto mod sometimes holds things, um, but most of the time we, we allow it through. It's pretty rare that we don't allow it through. In the cases where we don't allow it through, it's because it legit maybe <laughs> is sexual or something and you just didn't know it or, you know? <laughs> there's a, uh, uh, no, there's been a couple times where I've, uh, I cannot stop chopping. Just when I see little bits of them, I'm like, no, that's gotta be one, right? Um, yep. Yep. But uh, no, there's been a couple times where we've kind of laughed and it's like oh that's funny they wouldn't let that through and we can see why and stuff like that but they're saying something like totally innocent right 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 Ooh, what is that so i'd rather just have to allow things than have something like that appear in our chat Damn, was... Oi, Ram, thank you for the 50 bits. Heather, I apologize for the mention of men with you know what. It was meant to be something jokey and not be taken seriously, but it made you feel uncomfortable and I feel bad about it. I do want to say you had some awesome moments, like when Doug dared you to say Digi and you gleefully did so just to make him mad. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the apology. It's just, you know, sometimes when people talk about like most muscular women as like men with boobs or things like that, you start teetering on the edge of transphobia. Um, and I just have a lot of friends who are trans people and are dealing with a lot um, at the moment. So, you know, I just border on caution with that kind of stuff. Fair, fair, fair. Spooky Elephant, thank you for the 50 bits. Favorite Patrick Stewart quote. Mine is definitely... Something seer wants oh. A warning. It's just got... Every oh! oh. oh. <laughs> I was quoting from, uh, I think, the last change. Just, oh! <laughs> <laughs> um but like man a legit quote uh he's still here good tea. you know oh gray Hot. i, I, I mean that no i mean that honestly i mean i almost said that just because like it is the one i remember hearing so much but uh make it so bitches <laughs> i guess uh number one is always great there's one episode i don't know i saw it when i was really young and it really had an effect on me well, well okay so i'm assuming you've seen like next generation uh Right, I right, grew right. up on Next Gen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the episode where he's given a chance to uh, redo his life, to stop the fight where he got an artificial heart, and that would save his life yeah. later. And he turned out to be a totally different person because of it. And he has a line, you know, because he's now safe and practical. He does everything by the book, so he's not a captain anymore. You know, he's like just a perfectly okay whatever position, whatever. And... Uh, you know, he's talking to Q, and he has a line, something along the lines of, I'd much rather die the man I was than live the life I saw there. And that was just such a powerful, like, holy shit. Like, he'll go back and actually die, you know, the person that he lived to be, then live longer, but it's a life he didn't, he wasn't satisfied with. You know, a life that wasn't really helping or taking chances or, you know, it wasn't a life worth living. I just thought that was... And like I said, I don't even remember the full line. I just remember I'd rather die the man I was than, you know, whatever blank. I thought that was so powerful, and that left such an impact on me. Again, he said in such a way where he just really believed, 
you know, he felt it in that moment. Like, he's a legit, really good actor. Sir Patrick Stewart? Oh, yeah. Well, when you say sir, <laughs> of course he sounds amazing. But sir in front yeah, of anything, they sound amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> I saw um, a couple times, I like not on stage or anything, but I've seen that Bob Hoskins do Shakespeare and David. He's phenomenal too, man. It's always so funny because people, I mean, it sounds bad saying people just think of him for Star Trek. But Star Trek, I mean, when done right, does require some, you know, heavy duty oh, acting. absolutely. And it's not like, you know, Next Gen, like the original series, did deal with some serious issues sometimes. Yeah, big time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, so you think of like, oh, Bob Hoskins, the, the Roger Rabbit guy. Sure, Mario. Yeah, but it's like when you see him do like goddamn Shakespeare or really create some of these characters that are just so fascinating. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. It, it's it's hard to explain, like, just how, like, how real and alive they are e without altering their voices or wearing any makeup or anything like that. I mean, it's just solely through performance, and it's just so cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh. It's a really cool temple. High Republic stuff. <laughs> she has a really nice voice, the kid. Oh, Kata? Yeah. She does, doesn't she? Let's rest up here. Oi, Ram, thank you for the 50 bits. Doug, is something like Mommy Dearest off the table for a review because of the subject matter? I know you've joked about children before, but considering that it is still debated on whether or not this is real, if it is, it might be considered in poor taste. Uh, you know, Brad did a really good review of it. It's not even necessarily the um, subject matter. I mean, there's plenty, like I said, anything you dive into enough, you can find, you know, something really ugly in it, in my opinion. But uh, Brad did a review where he actually does not dislike that movie as much as I, he definitely doesn't see it as like, you know, whatever, a worst of the year and stuff like that. And uh, he points out some of the stuff where he's like, no, look, there's corny moments, certainly, but there's things in this movie that are legit really passionate and really good. Um, it was a very interesting review he did. So and I feel like, uh, A, I don't have a passion to talk about that movie, and B, I just feel like he did so much better than I could because he does have a passion to talk about it. Uh, so check out that review, the Cinema Snob review. I think you'll really like it. That Disney nerd, thank you for the 50 bits. So I checked out this awful movie on Tubi, which I guess should have been my first warning. I regret to inform you that what I watched is a real thing called Titanic 666. <laughs> oh yeah, check this out. Marin. She's a friend. Could kill your father. Cool as that. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Ask. Will you show us the way? Okay. Follow me. I mean, she's not a very good guard. Let's just say it. Expected more out of a force-sensitive child, right? It's dark. Lonely. That's just like a question in this world. Is the force like passed on? Like, is it passed on to your kids and stuff? It's all about midichlorians, Doug. All about the midichlorians, man. It's all about the midichlorians. The, the great, the, the midichlorian science just isn't there yet. You're very pretty. Cal's like, thank you. She doesn't have a reaction. She's like, yeah, I know. They do a good job, really. Like, it looks like a temple, but also looks alien. It looks like something from a different world. Mm-hmm. How did you get here? It wasn't easy. Hmm. 
You shouldn't have followed us. Not the dolls. Objection. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. Oh, bullshit. Come on, a black. Come on. I promise, Bode. Get that lightsaber Listen out. Listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. And you. But you have to surrender. Now. I mean, it's a pretty good deal when you think about it. <laughs> Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Not exactly parent of the year. I will decide what's best for my family. Hell yeah. Let's do it, motherfucker! Him. I will strike from the shadows. Oh, oh. I will be curious to see if your ever prevalent just keep hitting him really hard strategy works. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see, we shall see. It's over, ooh, ooh. Not cool, not cool. Whee! Right, Night Nightwalker? I agree. No lie, I'm ooh. always impressed Doug does this without lock on. Yeah. I, I don't know why most of the other games I need the lock on, but it, it throws me on somehow in this one. I don't know why. I always use lock on. <laughs> oh, ooh! What? <laughs> Just a nice little kick. I hate that that's what, like, put me in the red there. I'm like, really? That little kick? No. Ah! Force yourself! Come on, baby! Woo! Woo! There it goes, okay. did that move. That move got me so often, I hated it. Oh, ooh! Oh, oh, I cannot... to dodge that, but yes, you have to dodge it at the correct moment. Help me. That fucking guy. <laughs> it's just embarrassing whenever he does that kick. I'm like, come on, that's that's what gets me. Oh, oh, really? That's the moment. Here he comes. Ah! This is fine. This is all totally fine. <laughs> Kick again! Yeah. I uh, don't think I'm gonna make this one. Poor yourself. yourself, Doug. You can dug it up. Dug it up. Dug it up. Dug it up. Dug oh, there okay. went. Well, yep. All right. I dug okay. myself in the ass. <laughs> I just wanted to hype you up, Doug. <laughs> mm. uh. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Oh, okay. This isn't bad. Just run. No, and you don't have to rewatch all the cutscenes and yeah, stuff. Yeah. He'll just be standing there waiting for you. <laughs> just gonna, gonna be just a little closer. Oi, Ram, thank you for the 50 bits. Hey, Doug, you've talked about doing an Indiana Jones retrospective. Excuse me, if you get to Temple of Doom again. Master Ancesis, <coughs> Hold on, I swallowed something. Hold on. Okay. 
And I admire it. But it is not only his life we would risk. Okay, there we go. The oh, right. If you get the Temple of Doom no again, do you think you could do a joke similar us. to Lipnicki in Stuart Little films where you start bashing short round and then think, wait, can the actor kick my behind now and then say, he's great in a nervous <laughs> <time."> <laughs> Not bad idea. Um, I definitely would re uh, re review uh, Temple again. Okay, okay, I think it is kind of interesting in comparison to the other. Particularly Kingdom of Crystal Skull, uh, comparing that again. I still don't like it, but, uh, I, I think it'd be interesting to talk about it again. <laughs> wow, man, he, uh, man, with Marin's help, too, eh, he, he just was not letting me have that one. No. No, no, no. Not today. Not today, Death. Exile, thank you for the hundred bits. Hey Doug, rewatched your Blood Rain review, and regular water does hurt vampires in the game. That's probably the only good thing he did, and that's not saying much. <laughs> uh, I believe you. <laughs> I don't even remember the joke in the review. I trust you though. Yeah. I love when we gang up on him like that. It's just so fucking cool. It really is. <laughs> it's nice to have Marin be a part of this. I like when he grabs her, like, you know, back off her. Okay, I'm just like, ah, I don't care. <laughs> I kind of wish there was more of that. Like, you had to, like, maybe navigate a little through there to, like, do the boss battle or something. Hmm, okay. Just, just a nitpick. How dare you be nitpicky? Yeah, my baby. Uh, I haven't used this. Did oh, wow, yeah. I haven't even like lost any life force there yet. You uh, had to jinx uh, it, didn't you? Yeah, I was gonna say that was a good start for a while, man. <laughs> Oh, I got it. Got it. Ah, that's it. Oh. Woo. At least you got that stim off, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, co oh come on. You wouldn't even fucking let me get up there. No. He's not going to give you a chance to breathe, Doug. Come on now. Aha! You missed me on that fucking kick. I love that you feel felt so proud of that. I, I, I did. That's just the most demeaning whenever he does that. <laughs> oh, 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 in the fucking back! See, yeah, no, it, when you're fighting together, especially, it's so cool. Dang. Oh, shit. Worst bring your dart to work day ever. I'd <laughs> be cool if you switch lightsabers. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Look at him whale, man. <laughs> What did PT ever do to you? But bleep! Whoa, whoa, what? Embrace the darkness. That to just keep. Oh, that. Oh, shit! <laughs> you didn't embrace the darkness! I, I, I fucking. Oh, oh no, oh god, it's the joysticks, isn't it? That's what it they are. God the joysticks. damn it, R3, I only. R3 is clicking in the joysticks. Three? Yeah. I thought I said, oh, god. Damn it, I gotta do all that again just for a fucking stupid. Oh, 
God, that's annoying. I keep thinking it's the side buttons here, the back buttons there, the back bumpers. God damn it. Oh, that's so fucking stupid of me. Oh my god. Uh, okay, okay, when it says that, do I push them down or do I, like, circle them? I just push them down, right? Push them down, yes. Uh, the same and... way that you were using that uh, slow force yeah. move and oh, embracing man. the darkness last week and slowing them down. Ah. And... Uh... Oh, man, now watch. It's going to take, like, 80 times to get to that moment again. I'm not going to lie. I did not even know you could die there, Doug. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's all right. Always introducing people new experiences. Distract him. He's boating the shit out of you. Right. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. What's that? Thrill says when I played it, I thought it was a trick, and I didn't press them. Oh, interesting. Okay. That well, is interesting. I well, mean, now, at that point, we had already embraced the darkness last week. Yeah, that was kind of my thought, too. I'm like, oh, it already... There was a part of me I was kind of thinking, oh, I wonder if something happens when, you know, you don't, uh... If you don't do it, so... Now we know, at least... Yep. Where were you going? <laughs> that fucking kick! totally valid. You thought if you press them, they'd suddenly go down a Sith route, and I'm too nice for that. I mean, I did the same thing when I first got to that last section that we got to last weekend, or last week, where uh, I was like, embrace the darkness, and I was like, no, I don't want to! Uh, I don't want to! See, I'm the exact opposite. I'm like, hell yeah, embrace the darkness! <laughs> Yeah, Marin in her own game would be nice elite gamer. Oh, I agree. Oh my god, what you could do with like the powers and stuff like that? I totally agree. Do a little side game of her going back to um Dothamir. Yeah, no. I, her sisters. Yeah, no, god. I, I, yeah, like the cool story you could do like a Dothamir and stuff. Yeah, I agree. I think that'd be really cool. Or her brothers, rather. Yeah, you don't like it. There's, there's a lot. I mean, there's just a lot of cool things you can do in Dothamir in general. Oh, what? Oh, come. All right, all right. So I'm going to push down on them, right? I guess that point. Yeah. You uh, can skip this, too, if you want to. On uh, the joysticks. Oh, how do you, how do you skip it? Uh, I don't know on the Xbox controller what it would be. I, I was gonna say I'm not Maybe seeing the mean? thing pop up. I mean, I, I'll just wait. I, I should watch it. That's my punishment. Do I keep uh, pressing him over and over or do I just push down once? Just L, L3 and R3 once. Okay. Oh, you could be... You could be such a pansy when I embrace the darkness! That's my BD! Yeah, maybe I did embrace the darkness before. I just let everything go black. <laughs> Ellie's just like, you know. Oh, I thought he's just folding his arms like, not nah, cool. <laughs> oh, he hit BD. Go to the dark side. Exactly, science guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you're gonna do that to my droid? Forget ah. you, bro. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh! I didn't know he could do that! Fuck! Okay, okay. Surprise! Whoo! Oh man, oh brother, okay. Oh, it's starting back here every time. Oh shit, because it's man! It's time to read a bit message or two, that's all. Yeah, man, I just realized I, I gotta wait so much longer to get the, uh, whatchamacallit, the little shiny golden thing that has, like, uh, my power set. You know, maybe that'll be a good thing, though. It'll give me, uh, give me my life force back when I need it. Oi, Ram, thank you for the 50 bits. I was just wondering, Doug, do you hate the Olsen twins as people? As far as I know, they never did anything personally that rival Gibson or Weinstein, and they seem more like victims the more I hear about them. Someone actually made a countdown to when they turn 18, which is kind of icky when you think about it. Uh, no, they're the yeah. worst people yeah. alive. Everybody knows that. No, I, I, I made fun of them. Same reason everybody made fun of them. They were just annoying little child products, and I think... They knew that. They had to come to grips with it. That's just, you know, the world it is. I, I mean, at the very least, they utilized it. I mean, they turned it into a flourishing business. Um, no, if anything, I have... Uh, I think you could argue there's a lot of respect to be had for them, uh, turning that... I mean, still into a business. Um, you know, I, I mean, they were literally raised to be a brand, and they said, I you know, I mean, it, it doesn't look like they enjoyed it much but they're like all right this is the life we're given let's let's utilize it maybe help live the life we do want to live um so yeah no no i i have no <laughs> i have no hate for real for the olsen twins they, they were just easy targets back in the day <laughs> Oh, oh, it is still there. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's still on this level. Okay. You don't have to wait until phase three to get yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's what I thought, yeah. Ah! Force you in the ass! That was a nice little slide you did down Yeah. There. I, I love doing that slide. That's like my favorite thing. I feel like... I mean, sure he does it with the other poses, but I feel like he does a lot more with the... Uh... Oh, oh, yeah! You missed me, asshole! Um, he does a lot more with the uh, blaster stance. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's that one. That's right. Oh, oh come on now! Yeah! All right, do a freak on this one, okay. Yeah, how do I that, that, there we go, okay. I could have sworn you can skip the cinematic. Okay. Because I had to do the... Oh, I didn't even have to do the uh, Embracing the Darkness on that one. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, maybe that's why you couldn't skip it last time. Stim, baby! Oh, you used to on accident. Oh, wow, man! <laughs> Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, come on, <laughs> oh, man. What a monster. Ah, shit. Now. Ah. Ah, see if I can get him before I get to it. I... Get out! Just go for it! Nope, that's it, okay. Whew! Man, that last chunk! Yeah, that phase that three, it is, a, it is a punishing phase three, for sure. A punishing phase three. Mm -hmm. Honest reviewer, thank you for the 50 bits. Hey, Doug and Heather. Doug, I must warn you, I'm feeling a bit on edge because I wanted to hear your thoughts on a certain show you were supposed to start, but we weren't here Wednesday to ask. So with that said, Spider-Man, bitch. You mean spectacular, spectacular, Spider-Man, spectacular. I already love the theme song. It's so damn catchy. Spectacular, spectacular, Spider-Man. Uh, I like it so far. I. It's one of the few times where I really, and I guess. 
Oh, I was okay. gonna say pause because we hit zero for a second, but um, I think. I think we're okay. Are we okay? I, I, I mean, I'm not seeing anything on my end. Right here, buddy. Okay. We hit zero for a second there. Oh, okay. And it's people are saying it says broadcast broadcast oh, ended. Oh no. Oh, oh, maybe I should. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It. You may want to pause here for a second. Okay, okay. Did freeze for anyone? Oh, don't wait. Yeah, there. I, I think, I think stream crashed, cra like proper crashed. Oh, what? I, I didn't even get like a warning here. I saw it for a second. That's why I said, Doug, maybe you need to. So some people uh, are saying pause. they got an ad, but that's probably what it is. It turns off and then like plays an ad. I'm assuming, right? Right, right, right. I am still not seeing. Some are saying I've it rebooted, but but yeah, I see zero right now. But some are saying it reboot uh, rebooted here. Yeah, interestingly enough, I'm still not getting a picture on my end, but I don't know if that's just. <sighs> what else can we do? I mean, we've done everything <laughs> at this point. It's back. Okay, I think it is back. I don't know why my particular Twitch right now is being a, a big weirdo, but. There we are. Okay, now we're back. Okay. We're okay. definitely back for sure. Okay, we're definitely back. Okay. Sorry, we don't even know what the fuck to do <laughs> anymore. I guess we never quite knew, but uh, yeah, I, I hate when it happens. You hate when it happens. It sucks, man. We're, we're sorry. We, do we don't even know what the hell else to do anymore. So uh, with that said, I'm probably going to lose this one anyway. I'm not doing very well, but uh, real quick, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. I'm really, really liking it. I like that they have it at... Um, I like they're focusing on, like, sort of the social high school uh, age. I didn't think I would like that, but uh, I I'm digging the way they're doing it in uh, the show. I, I like it a fair deal. Uh, so, okay. Back to me, Luz. <laughs> yeah, no, it said uh, you disconnected for a second, which is always like, oh, pause, maybe pause. <laughs> All right, okay, I think we're back, though. Let's okay. see who we are. I'm getting weird readings on my end still, but I think people are saying they're here, and that's what matters. It's open. Because I still see zero viewers. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I mean, but they're saying it's it's back. I mean, it's... So weird. Thank you, Merit. <laughs> Okay, gotta gotta that third part. Wow. All right, there we go. things are starting to normalize here. Okay. Apologies for everybody. Oh shit! Oh come on! Oh, I was getting the stim and everything. I want to last it at the last part anyway. <laughs> <laughs> for that punishing third part. Yeah. Is there, I guess I should ask if there's another part after that. <laughs> it is punishing. That Disney nerd, thank you for the 50 bits. What did you think of David Cornsweat being cast as Superman? I think he looks the part, great casting in my opinion. Um, yeah, I saw that. I'm not familiar with him, but I think he looks the part. No, n neither am I. Man, let's say you're Henry Cavill. And they're just like, yeah, sorry, we need a new Spider-Man. You can't play the part, but I can play it. No, no, we just need an entirely different new one. And they just get your fucking look-alike <laughs> to play the role. <laughs> Wouldn't you just be like, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm right here, guys, but, uh, no, I mean, he, he looks right. I mean, I liked Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill looked the part. I thought he acted the part, so, uh, I'm, I, I'm with you. I don't know the actor very well, so I don't know if he's a good actor. I'm assuming he's good. Uh, I'm more excited for, uh, Miss Maisel as, uh, Lois Lane. I mean, that kind of seems like the role she's born to play, honestly. I was just like, yeah. when I saw that, uh, I got the stim. Come on. Oh, that's annoying. 
Um, which does make me wonder, too. I don't think they're going to, but wouldn't it be interesting if they said it, like, you know, kind of when Superman... What was it? The 50s? Is that when Superman was first? 40s, I believe. 40s? 30s, yeah. 40s, I yeah, believe. like, wouldn't that be interesting if they said it back then? I don't think they're going to, but wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm... Uh, when I saw that, I'm like, holy shit, that's like the role she was born to play. Uh, mm. Like, if, if she's not good, if they fuck something up. <laughs> In that role. That, yeah, that's gonna be the... This is a directing problem. This is not a her issue. Because, yeah, she, like I said, just seems born to play that role. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna wait to get the... Uh, that thing there to try and... Uh, see, now I will get it. Oh, come on, I wasn't in that air. Ah, oh, some of this. Some of this is bull dookie. Distract him. I will strike from the shadow. <laughs> Honest reviewer, thank you for the 50 bits. You're not too far off with Zeb, as the long lost home planet of a species is hidden behind a collapsing star cluster. P.S. That's one of my favorite episodes from season two. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Something about when I'm like coming up, he's like, hey, back off. Like, he pushes you away. I'm like, come on, you can't even take my wrath. Ah! That move was the bane of my existence. In ah! Well, I can't figure out what's the right time to dodge it. The dodging is so finicky but with that move you gotta did it you gotta get it at exactly the right time mm. it is so finicky but once you get it you'll get it but like i don't even know how to explain it like it i'm assuming it's, it's like right before he does it that's kind of the idea right right it's like more like right before he gets you than right before he launches oh interesting okay that, that's good to know and I think, I mean, I don't know. I couldn't even explain it because I just kind of like started to feel when the time was right. <laughs> you just trust in the force. You know what? You're, better, you're <laughs> yes, right. Yes. That's, that's, how we, that's how we do this. You trust in the freaking force. Woo! Now we need... That fucking kick. Oh, come on, man. I'm sorry to say, but I love how much you hate that kick. <laughs> I need one. Like I said, I mean, that, that fucking blaster or even that, it's like, okay, I can get that. Man, I blow up, and we just does the little kick, and it's like, whoa, you can't dodge that, man. That's just too powerful. Like, no, it's a fucking kick. This is the third part, right? Here we go. Yep, phase three. Let's go, baby. Phase three time. Uh, Stim, please. <laughs> Two Jedi shooting each other with blasters. Obi Wan would be disappointed. Hell yeah. I'm all about that. Oh, that felt good, man. Mm, that felt so fucking good. Give me a stim. Oh, shit. Game Kingdom, I did not get that hat, um, my Pikachu hat, from a loot crate. I think I just got it at... Oh no, you know where I got it? 
<laughs> I'm remembering this now. Um, it was on clearance at the Halloween shop the day after Halloween. Oh, nice. <laughs> ah. Come on, Stim Baby, Stim Baby! What? What happened to Stim now? What? HP and a prayer, you got it. Daughter. Mode, we know what it's like to grow up alone. All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? Shevin, how were you able to sleep through all that? <laughs> How'd you do that? I'm sorry, Kata. Right. Hey, no take back, cheese. <laughs> man, he is just tossing his daughter around, man. Yeah, that's the moment when you know he is kind of oh, she absolutely is. lost it to be tossing his daughter around yeah. with the fourth like that. Don't take Nice. <laughs> no more bullets. <laughs> nice. So how's your mom? <laughs> Just be like, uh, yeah, your dad. Something bad happened to your dad. I don't know. Uh, a rancor got him or something. roll the credits no ending at all <laughs> just that she seems to be taking it well i guess when he tries to like yeah practically kill you multiple right. times i mean <laughs> maybe it wouldn't hit you quite as hard better thanks Good. I don't know, she's kind of got like ripped jeans on. I never noticed that. Speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years, I carried this pain. Oh, okay, guy, I want to hear more what she was going to say. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You would not be it's able to lift that you. guy. <laughs> I refuse to believe. It's the force. It's using the force to lift him. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. The truth bomb from there. Yeah, 
He's fine. He's resting up. Oh, wait, what? It's gonna be a lot of garbage today. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I was literally sobbing. At this <laughs> and I'm quoting Willy Wonka because that's the first thing that comes to my mind. All right, who's the, oh the bald dude? That's right. I was trying to remember who the third one was. Ah, yeah, but she didn't disappear. Hmm. Did they ever say, is it just, was it just Obi-Wan and Yoda who did that? Is that the idea? Like, well, they figured out how to talk with the dead or whatever and do afterlife stuff. So that's how they disappear. Is that the idea? I don't know. Yeah, because uh, uh, Liam Neeson didn't disappear either. I'm sure there's a canon reason somewhere. Yeah, but I be, I, you know it's just Lucas wrote himself into a hole. He's like, oh, shit, yeah, I had him disappear and not these others. Um, it's because of this reason. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All planned from the start. Midichlorians and everything. That was a weird walk they animated for me. Yeah, here it goes again. Yeah, that's... What is happening there? There's some... Whoa, what? It's like they're moving... Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's... That looks a little silly. <laughs> Play the Betty Hill music. <laughs> No, go past, past this part. If I can never play this again, we're in now, now. Go back to then, when, now, 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 we can't. Why, we missed it, when, just now. <laughs> I like what a Trey Buck says, you look a little silly, dog. <laughs> Come Literally, on, you- Literally, half you... of us are crying right now and you're doing the Billy, the Betty Hill song. <laughs> I'm crying too, that some Let people remember Betty Hill. I need it too. Taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. And it sucks. I'm totally going to Sith route. Now you're gone. That would be pretty cool if you just decided to write there to you be a Sith. You will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for what comes next. I mean, he, he's good. He, he's selling it. He's such a good actor. He, he, he's very good. Oh, I like that music there.
Was that his lightsaber or Bode's? I think it was Sears. Oh, Sears. Okay. All right. Because um, Bode's actually was Dagon's. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Bode, when he like hung hung back for a second, took Dagon's lightsaber. Yeah. Steak. That's a cool life steak. Um, I'm assuming you can't really. Uh, do they have something at the end? They usually. There's like a little a little cutscene at the end. Okay. All right. I, I'm assuming you can't really uh, skip it. Can I? Can you? Let me see. Well, well, there's a close. I don't want to close it. Right. I don't think so. I don't know. I sat through the whole credits, and we do have um, we yeah, do have we, bit messages. Yeah, we, we do some bit messages. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noah Zinner, thank you for the 100 bits. Doug, what's the next game you plan on playing for Twitch? Oh, uh, I'm going to do uh, God of War. I've always wanted to Woo! play that game. or like excited to play it. Uh, I'm going to play the... 2018 God of War. Yeah, right? yeah. Not starting with God of War 1. No, uh, I'm going to do the one that everyone says I should start with, which is pretty much that one. Um... Uh, yeah, if, if for any other, a, a, everyone says I'm gonna love it, and B, just to get to the new one, because everyone says the new one's amazing. Uh, uh, Ragnarok has been my game of the year so far. I adore God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, so I'm really excited to uh, uh, play that. So yeah, I think that's gonna be the next one. We just have to see if we want to do it on PC or uh, uh, PlayStation, uh, see what makes more sense. But uh, yeah, no, a, everyone has just been like, oh man, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it so up your alley. So yeah, I'm really excited to to play that you'll enjoy some data boy <laughs> spooky elephant thank you for the 50 bits if anyone is curious i'm typing from beyond the grave my buddy finally sat me down to watch owl house last week and lutz luz i'd never know loose. how to say the main character loose dang it <laughs> um and amity were so cute it made my heart melt like the wicked witch of the west oh yeah they're uh, they're very adorable i, I like them a lot <laughs> Author, thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, Doug, you can only pick one of these to get rid of forever, and it has to be one, not both. Disney direct-to-DVD sequels or live-action remakes. Live Which will it be? Live-action remakes, because the sequels that... Well, first of all, there's a couple of the sequels. I'm like, not many, but there's a couple. And they're at least trying to create something new off, you know, a continuing story. A lot of them don't work. But they're at least trying, where the remakes are just trying to... They're not trying to erase the one that came previous, you know what I mean? I guess you could say that's not what the remakes are technically doing, but, you know, because you can still watch them. But, you know, they're trying to improve stuff that doesn't need to be improved on. I don't think it's what the sequels are doing. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely say uh, get rid of the remakes and keep the uh, sequels. That, not that, again, there's that many good sequels. <laughs> Roroni, thank you for the 100 bits. Watch the South Park movie review. Somehow I both appreciate the satire more and less at the same time. On one hand, yeah, cancel culture makes the satire more timeless than it has any right to be. On the other, if you, oh, sorry, on the other, if you're satirizing your critics in advance, how do you do that without there being some level of insecurity under it? Even if it even if it's as justified as it is here. Side note, did not expect Chaplin to have such a potty mouth. <laughs> right. He technically didn't swear. He just said words that meant the same thing. Um, no, I think it's like any other strategy, honestly, if you can predict... <sighs> You know, it's like when you're in battle, it's like you can predict what the person's gonna say or do or something. If you can predict it ahead of time, you know, there's great... Uh, yeah, there's a great advantage to that. It's like in Dune, you know, the way to avoid a trap is knowing there's a trap, you know, kind of thing. So, um, but sometimes that backfires too. You're right. I've definitely seen moments where somebody, somebody knows the criticism is coming, but rather than like deflect or point out the counter argument, they just sort of acknowledge it and say you're stupid, you know, kind of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> though once in a while that can be funny too, honestly. So, um, no, I, I don't know. It's as opposed to insecurity, I would almost say it's acknowledging a weakness that all of us have and try to turn it into a strength, if that makes sense. Um, and that's a way I would look at it. But yeah, I guess you could argue insecurities in there too. It's good to have a little insecurity. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit's okay. <laughs> 
Master Tiebreaker, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Doug, you may have answered this question before, but what is your favorite episode of Love, Death, and Robots? Mine is good hunting because steampunk is my jam. There was one. I, I can't explain it. It was almost like an assault on my senses, but it was in a way that was just so unique and groundbreaking and told such a fascinating story. I couldn't look away from it. It was both, like, beautiful and ugly at the same time. It's the one with the, uh... You don't know it. It almost looks realistic, but, like, done a different style. Like, it's this uh, dancing woman in the water and this knight that sees her. If I tell you that, you know what I'm talking about. And it's just, like, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, and just for that alone, I had to be, like... Whoa, this is. This has got to be my favorite because it's going to be the one I remember the most. I love that show, though. Fat Disney Nerd, thank you for the 50 bits. Do you have any interest in checking out No Hard Feelings, the new Jennifer Lawrence comedy? I checked it out and enjoyed it for what it is. Uh, that's why I heard it. You know, the, uh, the plot didn't look like anything, but the uh, acting did. It looked like she was really going to... Not just from her, actually, everybody. The acting looked pretty good. Um... And I got some chuckles from the uh, trailer, so I'll probably stream it. That looks like a movie uh, my wife would like. Author, thank you for the 100 bits. Alan Menken said remaking Pocahontas would be impossible due to modern sensibilities and also suggested the planned live-action Hunchback, which would feature elements from the Disney version and the Victor Hugo novel, was stalled for similar reasons. Because they didn't think that rated R version would work out after all. I mean, yeah, they're never going to agree to it. Pocahontas shouldn't be remade because it was a bad movie to begin with. I never liked it. Even when I was a kid, I'm like, this is dumb. This is stupid. This is not good. But good for you, <laughs> I, I never, never liked it, but um, it, but the colors are beautiful, and some of the songs are very nice. Um, but she was 15, man. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> uh, and, and just on top of that, it's, I mean, I just feel like I saw a million Saturday morning cartoons like that, you know. Uh, that's why I don't like Avatar either and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, I never got into it uh, myself. On a Joker, thank you for the 100 bits. Civil rights leader by day, superhero who sees through things by night. He is Malcolm X Ray. Shall we call <laughs> Marvel? <laughs> I, when I found out what Malcolm's middle <laughs> initial was, I'm like, no, really, what is it? I didn't believe him. Uh, but at the same time, I'm kind of with you. I think that's just kind of the fucking coolest name. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, I don't know. I... I think it sounds cool. <laughs> Kristoff, thank you for the 100 bits. Without spoiling Bad Batch, Seer was only the second most devastating death of Star Wars in 2023 so far. So show some respect, you old rascal. Mm -mm. Uh, yes, shame. Shame. I mean, shame, Doug. Yes. We're all going to keep shaming you mm -mm. for that. Okay? So much shame. So much shame. Nobody's ever made fun of Star Wars. I'm the first. <laughs> right. You're right. Everyone takes Star Wars too seriously, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, suddenly you're like, you know, maybe I could throw in a few jokes there the more I think about it. <laughs> Frost Phantom, or Frost Fatum, there's no mm. fan. Uh, thank you for the 50 bits. Doug, hope you get to play Arkham City. Has the best line in anything related to a comic, and big shock comes from Joker. Uh, I hug from Brazil. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I'll get around to those, the other Arkham games at some point uh i just wanted to try because like didn't we do a batman like an arkham game just before this yes, um yeah. yeah so it's like i want to try like one other game then we'll probably do another disney game and then like maybe i'll look at the arkham games again you know i need just a little little space a little space from it that disney nerd thank you for the 50 bits so doug thoughts on the game is it better than fallen order is it about the same is it worse I like the story in Fallen Order a lot more. It, it held my interest a lot more. Uh, I couldn't predict where it was going. Um, just everything clicked a lot more. As a game, like the actual gameplay and everything, I like this a lot more. I, I, I thought the actual... Uh, the fact they let you keep all the moves from the last game is so nice. I mean, and you just feel so good using these moves, and I don't know, it's just so nice. You play this game, you learn all these moves, and you get to this game, and it's not like, well, no, you gotta go backwards. Like, no, they let you keep it, and you learn more. They allow you to enjoy what is fun about being a goddamn Jedi, you know, in this game. Uh, 
uh, you know, and the worlds were cool and exploring them was fun and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, but the story's not bad. I'm not all going to say it's bad. Uh, it just compared to the first one, I thought the first one just, I thought the characters are so much more interesting. I didn't know where it was going. It just, like, from minute one, it hooked me in, where this one it really wasn't until, like, the last third that I started to get invested. Um, but, but again, it's not bad. It's just, um, you know, fine, <laughs> in my opinion. The, for the few really good scenes in the last third, uh, you know, it, it's kind of worth it. But yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, we compare it to the first, just the villain in the first one and the storytelling and just the constant mystery of what's going on, how everything plays out. Uh, I really like the story more in the first one. But again, gameplay, I like more in this one. Yeah, that's exactly what I said as well. That mm. I like the story better in Fallen Order, but the gameplay is almost like perfected from Fallen Order in this one. Especially mm. the the fun of having the different stances in this one too. Yeah. That really you can cater to your style of play was really awesome. Was a really awesome addition. And I'm just thinking like with the first game, like just from the beginning, immediately like who is this kid? Who's this friend of his? Who is this, you know, uh, uh, what are they call the Jedi hunters? Um, the Like the second sister and everything. What are they called? Oh, sorry. I was spacing out for a second. Inquisitors. In Inquisitors. Like as soon as she pops up, it's like, who is this? Who's this character? What's the back? Who's this person that's saving you? Who's this pilot? This pilot's kind of funny. What are these flashbacks? I mean, just constant questions. You immediately want answered. You want to explore more. Where this one, I mean, it just really took a while to be like, you know, okay, so what am I looking for? Why am I, where's the group again? Where, like, I really did not get, like, invested, invested until, like, the last chunk there. Yeah. I mean, I do appreciate that this one tried to bring in some High Republic stuff. Mm. Um, but it wasn't the most gripping. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, and like I said, it, it's tough, because that first game, again, from a story standpoint, I really do think the rest of the game is better in this. Uh, but like I said, I don't want to say it's lightning in a bottle because Star Wars and lots of other stuff have told similar stories, but, uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking of that immediate investment it got out of me, and it just had me hooked the entire time. I'm just thinking, like, how this one starts with him as a prisoner, and you're just kind of walking, and takes a while and then you break free and you do the moves and then all these people you get to know they're just dead and gone and it's like well yeah now where's the original group well, i guess i should go find them like there's just not that immediate investment you know what i mean where i feel like the first one just grabbed you so early and just held on to you the whole time oh look at a covid coordinator is listed now in oh, the credits that's, that's interesting. interesting huh probably for mocapping yeah yeah on set and stuff yeah that's really interesting yeah that is Honest reviewer, thank you for the 100 bits. Have to get rid of one of these, Disney direct-to-video sequels or Disney theatrical sequels? Uh... Are there that many? Disney theatrical sequels? Uh... Matt, I'm trying to even think. Wait, wait, you got, like, Return to Neverland? Like, Jungle Book 2, I guess? I, I can't think of that many. Uh, maybe the theatrical ones, just because I don't remember that many of them? <laughs> they must not have left that big an impact. See, I'm silly. Thank you for the 100 bits. May I suggest a game for Dad of Boy? We start off drunk. Then, every time Kratos says boy, we take a shot of water. Okay. Uh, oh! Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting turnaround. I will say this. I don't know much about God of War, but I do definitely know boy. I, I know... I know boy. <laughs> you know Definitely. dad of boy. Yep, yep, I, I know that. So when you said that title, I'm like, okay, I, I know what you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> DCL Coda, thank you for the 50 bits. If you want another fun story about the South Park movie, look up the story behind the internet video of Cartman's mom. There's a great story behind how it got to that point, and it all comes back to the MPAA. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'll look that up. Oh, chat is now listing all theatric uh, Disney. Oh, okay. I guess like the pirate. Frozen okay. 2, Wreck -It, Wreck it Ralph 2, Rescue Down sequels. Under. Oh, Down Under is good. Um, that's rough because like the few sequels that are good, the theatrical sequels are better than like the straight to DVD sequels. But they're so not that many. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, sure, get rid of the DVD sequels. I forgot about Rescuers Down Under. That's a really good movie. <laughs> <laughs> 
just all for rescues, darn it. Yeah, and when even Frozen Two is not good, but there's some good there's some good songs in it and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, okay, I'll say that. Yeah, honest reviewer, thank you for the hundred bits. So Hell of a Boss was finally able to release its long lost season one finale last Saturday. Let's just say it was a fun watch. Yeah, I saw that. I wanted to wait and see what that was before I saw it because it already confused me. And then it, it, it pretty much they explained what you just explained there. Um, so I haven't watched it yet, but I will, uh, check it out. Chat, is, can Doug hit close? This is, this is, this is, okay, so I, long. I, I thought you said, like, you, like, went through the whole, I thought okay. I sat through the whole credits too, but maybe I didn't. Yeah, Gosh, this, this is so really long. long. <laughs> yeah, I'm so afraid if I push close, I'm gonna miss whatever the sequence is. So, yeah, all right, so chat, we're asking you right now, can I push close and still see the sequence at the end, whatever the little cutscene is? Chat is saying yes. Okay, all right, I'm trusting you. Okay, all right, thank you, chat. <laughs> nope. Well, not exactly what we expected, but this place is our home now. Yeah, Grace. Yeah, I guess it is. This belongs with you. I passed Blue Ribbon. It belongs with all of us. Man, so they're just gonna stay there? I mean, I guess. I guess what, what else are you gonna. Well, I'm sure they're gonna, like, find other Jedi to bring their shot. We should be back, chat refresh. Oh, did it really? Oh my god. Let's do it. Oh, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. Sorry, sorry. Man, what, what timing, too, during the cutscene? Yeah, and it didn't pop up at all. None of them popped up at all when it went offline. It's line doing there. the weird thing again, too, where stream is completely crashing. Wow. Yeah, and it's not popping up at all. Yeah, it's it's being weird again. Journey complete. You have reached the end of your journey. However, the galaxy can be freely explored, and there may be uh, there may yet be secrets left to discover. Uh, New Journey Plus is now available from the main menu. All stances and uh, cosmetics from previous games will be unlocked along with some new perks and lightsaber colors. Any skill points will also carry over to your new game. Uh, New Journey Frame Prime, blah, blah, blah. Neat, okay. Yeah, well, I did. <laughs> she just really wanted to fucking shoot that ship, okay. All right, cool, so I wanted to go back, obviously, to other parts and stuff like that. <laughs> but I don't have any stims, that's kind of funny. I was saying, yeah. Uh, I'm a low CD, so I just want to end on full health. Although, you right, know what? Course. No, you, you know what? That looks pretty damn cool that it's like, that's what I survived. And no stims, just a little bit of health, and I fucking pulled it off. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it, because that up. looks pretty. That is such a reflection of my play style. <laughs> I just fucking dugged it up. Uh, so, you did. All right, cool. Uh, with that said, I'm assuming oh, I can goodness. just... Did it crash again? No, 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 we're back. It's oh. just more like, golly gee, why is this happening again now? That we're doing complete crashes. Sorry, continue. I didn't mean to. No, no, it's, it's, <laughs> no, no, it, it's so obnoxious. I agree. Um, so, okay, with that said, I can just exit out of the game, right? I mean, and we start. I mean, listen, I would save one more time, but that's just me being freaked out about things saving. But I mean, I guess you're never really coming back to it. Uh, although, you know, know, I can save, but not necessarily. Well, no, I guess because it does replenish everything. Okay. I guess it's a. Uh, I guess it's good. It makes sense. It makes sense to do. Okay. So now we should probably exit out of the game, right? Yeah. Do some pizza time here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, quit to, uh, this, I guess, is quit to, uh, desktop, I suppose. Yep. Okay. Quit to the, your desktop here. Get your steam loaded up. Yeah, so let's get, um, oh, that's right, it is through there. So can I do it through the, uh, I can, uh, do you want this app to allow to, yes, make changes. Do the thing. Open steam. Yes, do that. Very good. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, it says it's launching. Yes, no. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Okay, okay. I, I I don't fucking give anything a minute anymore. Anytime like something even takes a second, it's like, and the stream is gone. <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, so I will wait. Well, maybe while we wait, we can hear another 
There's a jar we all uh, threw. We're, no, we have some. Okay. Uh, Cavern, thank you for the 100 bits. What's your view on Bloodsport movie starring Van Damme? I don't think I've seen that one. I haven't seen a ton of Van Damme movies. I've seen a couple. I've seen Time Cop, um, <laughs> Street Fighter, obviously. Um, and I did see, was it uh, JCVD? I did see that, and that was kind of uh, cool seeing him in that. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen a ton of them. I, I was more a Stallone and a Schwarzenegger guy. This is taking an oddly long time. Yes, it is. Uh, give us a second here. We will be right back, hopefully, with Pizza Tower. We'll be right back. Give us a second. 